Kevin Sludge from Believe Lane Media here at Rockets Stadium in Streetsboro, where the Streetsboro Rockets defeated the Ravenna Ravens 45-14. to um, Streetsboro came into this game undefeated on top at 7-0. This is going to be a tough uphill battle for Ravenna, but they came out and threw the first punch in that first quarter. Uh, their first possession, they went down the field. C.J. Ross uh, hit Bobby Melzer on a 26-yard touchdown pass. Uh, PAT was good, giving them a quick 7-0 lead. <laughs> Streetsboro was able to come right back on their possession. Uh, Janier Cook took it in from 15 yards out for a touchdown run. Uh, PAT was good, tying the game up at seven. Um, Streetsboro was able to get the ball back, get another score um, after an interception, uh, put them in a uh, good position at the Ravenna 36 yard line. From there, uh, Cohen Climac took it in from 14 yards out. Another PAT made it a 14 to seven lead for Streetsboro uh, with 421 to play in the first quarter. And that's where we stood at the end of one, uh, 14 to seven Streetsboro on top. Second quarter, it was more Cohen Climac. Uh, he was able to take it in from two yards out. Second touchdown of the game, another PAT was good, 21 to seven in favor of the Rockets. But Ravenna came back to make it a, a one score game. CJ Ross with a deep pass on the right side was actually deflected by the, the Streetsboro defender into Ladarian Askew's hands. He took it the rest of the way for a 49 yard touchdown reception. Uh, PAT was good for Ravenna, making a 21 to 14 lead for Streetsboro with 10-11 to play in the first half. <laughs> but Streetsboro again answered right back. It was again Janier Cook, a short one-yard touchdown plunge, making it a 28 to 14. Streetsboro lead with 5.09 to play at the first half. Uh, they were able to hold Ravenna, get the ball back again, and from there it was Cohen Climac, his third touchdown of the game, this one from 52 yards out. Uh, and this really put the Streetsboro in control of the game at 35 to 14 with a minute and 56 seconds left. Ravenna gets the ball and a quick three and out, three incomplete passes, left time on the clock, a short punt, gave Streetsboro a short field, and uh, they were able to connect on a 24-yard field goal from Logan Sapowski. Uh, right at the end of the half, putting them up 38 to 14. Up and, and that was pretty much all she wrote. Um, Streetsboro got another touchdown late in the third quarter, right at the end. Uh, Logan Fincham took it in from seven yards out, and they were up 45 to 14. And that was pretty much all she wrote. Uh, no scoring in the fourth quarter as that last touchdown by Streetsboro started the running clock uh, with the 30 plus point lead. And uh, they closed it out here tonight, 45 to 14, uh, moving them to 8-0 on the season. And uh, that sets up a, a big matchup next week at field uh, for the conference championship. And uh, as uh, Coach Thompson told me, it's, it's been a while since they've had a conference championship. So that's definitely in their sights and uh, looking to finish strong as, as a a one or two seed heading into the playoffs. So uh, that's, here. that's it here tonight from Rocket Stadium. Or once again, the final score, the Streets for Rockets 45, the Ravenna Ravens 14.